Hello there and welcome from our team at USMLE Sarthi. In today's webinar, we'll have uh, Dr. Puneet Reddy from our team talk about the top and the most common mistakes he has seen students make as they prepare for the step one. In fact, he's made uh, some of those mistakes himself before correcting those. He basically talks about three categories of mistakes. The first is actual resource selection mistakes. So for example, spending too much time on Kaplan. The second category of mistakes he's gonna talk about is the actual preparation. So for example, spending too much time or doing UWorld offline. Uh, so that's one mistake you see. And the third is the productivity or efficiency mistakes that the student makes that impacts their performance. And as he goes through this webinar, he's also gonna talk about uh, the complete webinar we did on step one preparation a couple of weeks back. I'll have the link to that below so you can watch that as well. That gives you the complete plan timeline that you should follow. And he also recommends the UFAPB strategy, which stands for U World, First Aid, Pathoma and Boards and Beyond. So for those of you who don't know about this. So let's get started. And for those of you who are visiting us for the first time, consider subscribing to us here on YouTube and follow us on Instagram so that we can get you the latest updates and guidance as you plan your USMLE journey from start to the residency match. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Praneet. I'm from the USMLE Saradi team and we are here today to discuss the top mistakes that students do as a part of their USMLE Step 1 preparation. So before we begin today's video, just a little bit about myself. I've completed my Step 1 and scored a 261. I've taken my Step 2 CK and scored a 268. I've done my electives in the US and I plan to apply for internal medicine residency in the US. And our goal is to share some tips regarding the USMLE exams so that you can do best in your exam. And uh, these tips were put together from my own experience as well as hundreds of other physicians who have taken their USMLE Step 1. Before we begin today's video, let's start with a small quote from uh, Steve Jobs. So as he said, deciding on what not to do is as important as deciding on what to do. Yes, knowing what not to do as a part of your USMLE Step 1 preparation is very important and saves you a lot of time, increases your productivity. Unfortunately, this is something that is often learned in retrospection. But the good news is that I'm here today to share all these secrets with you so that you can do good in your exam. So without any further delay, let's just get started. To keep the discussion streamlined, let's divide these mistakes into three broad categories. Mistakes done with regard to resources, with regard to preparation and scheduling the exam, and third would be with regard to productivity. So moving on to mistakes that are done with regard to the resources, first would be using Kaplan extensively and starting UFAP B late. So Kaplan videos are very famous and this is where usually students start their preparation. But uh, the problem with them is that the content in them is relatively low yield and uh, it does not complement really well with the uh, first aid or U world that are the core resources that you will be using. So the common notion that uh, Kaplan videos and lecture notes are required for a very good foundation for your step one preparation does not always hold true. And then starting UWorld, first aid, boats and beyond, Pathoma late is one very common mistake that people do and is often regretted. So I personally had wasted, uh, I feel I wasted a few months on doing Kaplan videos and lecture notes extensively. And if given a chance, I would prefer to skip it altogether. Second is using too many resources. Too many cooks spoil the broth. The same holds true for step one. So U World, First Aid, Pathoma, Boards and Beyond, these are the gold standard resources. And it's important to believe in these resources because they are tried and tested formulas that have worked for so many people who took the exam, including myself. Uh, during my step one preparation, I've tried uh, so many resources and I've also changed my schedule uh, quite a few times initially, but I soon realized that uh, you should not change your schedule halfway through just by the word of someone. 
it's important to make a study schedule centered around these core resources and supplement any weak areas with additional resources. For the complete list of best subject wise resources, you can refer to our previous video. Third is not targeting the weak areas. Certain topics like microbiology, pharmacology and biochemistry require constant repetition and uh, this can be overcome by allotting time to review this material every day. Uh, for, especially for microbiology and pharmacology, sketchy videos uh, will, are very helpful and um, they will help you retain and recall these topics uh, much better. I personally reviewed sketchy micro and uh, biochemistry from Boats and Beyond a few times during my preparation. Just a few days before my exam, I watched the sketchy micro videos in Boats and Beyond for uh, biochemistry, just like a movie or a story and then uh, that helped me and kept me confident on the exam day. So moving on to the next topic that is mistakes regarding preparation and scheduling the exam. So first off in that is using UWorld in the wrong way. So we will be discussing a few things under this. Uh, firstly, it's very important not to do UWorld uh, in an offline mode and a tutor mode. UWorld questions, concepts or software is very close, uh, is close to the real exam. Uh, so it's very important to solve it in an online mode and a time mode right from the first question to the last question. Second off is uh, doing or starting UWorld late. So uh, this is a very common question that people ask on how much time it would take for them to sit for the exam. So I would say uh, how much of a time you take to do UWorld twice plus one month is usually the time you take to sit for the exam. So if you are delaying UWorld, that means you're pushing your exam further ahead. And then uh, third thing is that annotating UWorld into first aid is very important. It's important to annotate only the high yield and missing stuff into first aid. Uh, at the same time, it's equally important uh, to uh, not to bother yourself with some remote or minor stuff in UWorld. Uh, and this will help you a lot during your revision. And then it's important not to bother yourself too much with the percentages. As we discussed in the previous video, UWorld is a very good learning tool. And then uh, finally, it's also very important uh, to focus on test taking skills. So not focusing on test taking skills is a huge mistake. So it's very important to improve your speed, develop a pattern of reading the questions, a pattern of elimination and several other things uh, which we will be discussing in a separate video. But yes, it is important to focus on the test taking skills when you're doing your world. So second is some common mistakes that are done with regard to NBMEs or assessments. And um, so first off in that is fear of assessments and starting them late. So NBMEs or assessments are uh, no doubt a very good way to assess your preparedness for the exam, but they are also equally important uh, practice questions uh, that help you be uh, well prepared for the exam. So it's important to take all of them. And there are at least eight of them, uh, including NBMEs, UWSA, Free 120 and all these. Uh, so if you start them late, you will have to push your exam date further just because you have some assessments to take. Uh, the best strategy is to start taking your assessments at the beginning of your revision phase and then take one every one to two weeks. And uh, second common mistake here is not reviewing the questions or concepts or images asked in these assessments. So it's very important to learn in and around these concepts and review the images really well. And um, you, you may see some of these things in your real exam. And uh, finally, uh, worrying too much about the exact predictiveness of these exams. It's a very common thing that people uh, take their exam and then go around asking people, searching in the forums about the exact predictiveness of these exams. And no single NBME is predictive for everyone. Uh, all that is important is you've, you've reviewed the concepts and the images and uh, make sure you're falling within plus or minus 10 of the NBME of your target score. And um, that means you're good to go. Just, just keep going with your regular schedule. So do not worry about the predictiveness of the uh, assessments. Third mistake with regard to the preparation and scheduling the exam is pushing the exam date too much. So everyone during their preparation have a peak 
and after that uh, the scores kind of plateau or may go down a little bit because of fatigue or things becoming monotonous so it's very important to recognize the peak and give the exam in the peak as discussed in our previous video uh, you will it's, it's important to sit for the exam within one month of completing the resources and then reaching a plus or minus 10 of your target score in these assessments that way you can avoid uh, pushing your exam too much or uh, going off the peak so the last topic is mistakes that hamper your productivity and first in that is having anxiety on the exam day or days before the exam so one very common thing is having anxiety or having decreased performance days before your exam for example like if you're able to do uh, 40 quest 40 or 30 pages of first aid every day on your normal preparation days you will maybe you may be able to do only 10 or less than 10 pages of first aid uh, days before your exam and this is pretty common and it happens with everyone it happened with me here's what i did to overcome that so understand that your preparation is already done and whatever you're doing is just a bonus and um, the calm you stay the more you will score on your exam now one very important tip during this phase is to make a very compact schedule and uh, and trying to achieve that focus on achieving that this way you will be busy target achieve, trying to achieve your targets and it is unlikely that you're going to think about anything that might increase your anxiety uh, regarding the exam second mistake here is studying for step one alone so having a study partner or a group and a mentor for guidance is very helpful for step one preparation and i believe this is something that has helped me score high on these exams and step one preparation is a roller coaster ride so having a study partner will help you keep up with the preparation on your low days or uh, when you're off the track and uh, not only that reviewing your world assessments and studying first aid together with a partner is um, fun faster and easier at times so you can join our telegram group or the step one mentorship program for uh, to create a safe and conducive environment for effective learning and the third mistake here is burnout burnout is a real issue and it needs to be considered when making a schedule for step one a good schedule will have regular breaks and a day off in a week with the help of our planner you can uh, make a, a, a perfect schedule stay in complete control of your schedule hours so these are the top mistakes that you need to avoid as a part of the usmle step one preparation and as stella adler said you will only fail to learn if you do not learn from your failings so on this note we hope that our experiences will help you do better in the exam and uh, that's all for today we will be back with another video as a part of the usmle exam series and you can subscribe to our youtube channel and also follow us on instagram also please uh, tell us if you have any further queries thank you everyone thank you dr puneet hopefully this session was useful to you all let us know any questions if you have or any other mistakes that you may have seen in your uh, USMLE journey. We'll take uh, questions here gladly and also stay tuned for our next webinar on step one preparation coming soon.